Well, it's that time of year, mid-March, when we find that we've lost our bees. Uh, it's a really common time. They were looked fine in February, and March is is the hard one. So I'm seeing a lot of posts up on the Facebook pages about people who've found their hives are dead and now have these frames to deal with. And uh, most of the discussion is about mold and what do I have to do to clean my frames. So everything that I have seen or heard on YouTube and from the, the lectures that I've listened to, the reading that I've done, there aren't any molds that are harmful to the bees. So if you've got a frame like this one that has a light gray mold, um, it's stick it back in with the bees. You don't have to do anything to clean that. Uh, they will take care of that. Now, there's, there's other molds that you get. Um, here, there's some pollen that is starting to mold with some heavier white mold. Little amounts like that, I will leave. Um, if you get up into to this heavier part of the, of the pollen and that gets damp and starts to really mold, it will protrude out, it will weep, it'll smell bad because it's rotting protein. Uh, at that point, I'm not, the bees I'm certain can clean it. I'm not gonna make them do that much work. Uh, to me, it's, if they've gotta haul all that out of there to get the cell useful, it's probably less energy to, to rebuild the cell. So I will scrape and clean as much of that out of, as I can, uh, just to make it easier for the bees. Uh, the same with dead bees in the frame. If I can get them out, I will. If they're starting to mold, I will actually scrape them out so that they're not as nasty in there. Um, but the bees can do some of that work. I just do it a little faster than they do. Uh, takes less energy. So now keep those things in mind as you're thinking about putting your frames back in with other bees. There's no need to soak them in bleach water. There's no need to burn the inside of your boxes. Um, if there hasn't been disease in them, and they didn't die out because of disease, there really isn't a lot of concern. They died because they didn't get treated well enough for Varroa and had weak winter bees and starved out, um, or they were too active of a hive and they ate all their honey reserves before they could get to a new nectar flow. Uh, both of those things happen and, and they don't harm a thing as far as your equipment. So I just thought I'd put this out here is there seems to be a lot of people asking the question. Um, and a lot of those from your dead outs will, can go in your swarm box, even with the dead bees in them. That's the kind of thing that, that if the bees swarm and they go into a hollow tree and it's got old comb and it's all moldy, they're gonna move right in, um, clean it up and, and go to town. So like I say, the only thing I do is try to take it out if it's stinky rotten or it, it's a whole lot of work for them. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching this stuff.